Hello, welcome back to Exploding Chemistry by Teacher Susan. Today, I would like to share with you all how to calculate heat change, especially in covalent compound, based on the bond energy. Here you go. Let's start with the first example. Okay, we are looking at the reaction between hydrogen gas and chlorine gas in order to produce hydrogen chloride gas. Okay, before we can move on to the calculation for this uh, heat enthalpy involving the covalent compound, first thing that I want you all to do is to convert the following chemical equation by drawing the structural formula for each of them. So for hydrogen gas, we will have H single bond H, chlorine gas Cl single bond Cl, and for hydrogen chloride gas, H single bond chlorine times 2. Okay, referring to the bond energy chart that I provide in my previous video, we can know that okay, the um, bond energy involving hydrogen and hydrogen it is 436 kilojoule, chlorine single bond chlorine 242 kilojoule, and each of the hydrogen chlorine single covalent bond will be 431 kilojoule. Now, next step, what are we going to do? We are going to calculate the total energy absorbed in breaking the chemical bond. We need energy to be absorbed in breaking all the chemical bond in the reactants, which I draw in this red color section in order to break the bond okay we want to breaking the chemical bond whatever chemical bond that we have and normally in this case we refer to the covalent bond so the total energy that we need the total energy that absorb to break the hydrogen single covalent bond and chlorine chlorine single covalent bond will be the total amount between 436 kilojoule and 242 kilojoule which means a total of 678 kilojoule and to form back a chemical bond when we are going to form back chemical bond we need to release we need to release a total amount of energy in order to release the total amount of energy we need to check what kind of chemical bond that it was here when we are forming two reactants of hydrogen chloride they involve formation of hydrogen chlorine single covalent bond for two times each hydrogen chlorine hydrogen chloride single covalent bond when they form each of them they will release 431 kilojoule of energy in order for us to get two stable hydrogen chloride gas we need to release 431 times 2 kilojoule of energy which means they are going to release 862 kilojoule of energy while well, the last step involving here is to calculate the heat change what is a heat change heat of reaction that involve in the formation of hydrogen chloride gas we take okay the total energy that we need to break the chemical bond minus the total amount of energy that release during the formation of chemical bond which in the end we have negative 184 kilojoule per mole this is the amount of energy needed in order for the whole chemical reaction to be carried out and what is this negative symbol stand for this negative symbol stand for at the end of the heat uh, at the end of the chemical reaction a total amount of 184 kilojoule of heat energy is being released to the environment and this symbol negative also telling us that 
the chemical reaction between hydrogen gas and chlorine gas in the formation of two moles of hydrogen chloride is an exothermic reaction. I repeat, this chemical reaction is an exothermic reaction because the delta H for the end reaction carry a negative magnitude and this negative symbol stands for a total amount of 184 kJ of energy is being released out to the environment so when heat is being released out to the environment the chemical reaction is an exothermic reaction if I want to record the observation for this chemical reaction I can see that the final temperature which recorded by the thermometer reading my observation will be final thermometer reading is higher than initial thermometer reading okay guys okay that's the end of my video okay thank you for your attention love my video please subscribe and hit the bell see ya